Let's say we have an integer, we have an integer a. And if it is asked that what can we add to this integer a so that the final result is zero. Of course, you will say that, hey, if I add minus a to this, then it will become a minus a, and therefore this will be equal to zero. a is any arbitrary integer, any arbitrary integer. And if you add minus a to a, this will become zero. What if we have an integer minus a, and if it is asked, what can we add to this integer minus a, so that the final result is again zero. So we'll say that, hey, if we add a to this, that is a positive integer, it's a negative, just make it positive and add to it, then this will become minus a plus a, and this will be equal to zero. So in both these two cases, you can see that the final result has come as zero. Therefore, a and minus a, a and minus a are additive inverse of each other. They are additive inverse of additive inverse of of each other. So if we have, let's say, an example, we have a number 2 and integer 2. So what can we add to this integer to make 0? You will say if we add minus 2, then this will become 0. Therefore, 2 and minus 2 are additive inverse of each other. Additive inverse means that number which when added to any particular integer will make it 0. If your number integer is minus 3, what is the additive inverse of minus 3? 3. Minus 3, 3 is additive inverse of minus 3 and minus 3 is additive inverse of 3. They both are additive inverse of each other. That is, if a, if a is an integer, then minus a will be its additive inverse and so this is its additive inverse and minus a is its additive inverse. a is additive inverse of minus a and minus a is additive inverse of a. So that's the concept of additive inverse.